Has anyone ever given a nice guy a chance, after they've thrown a tantrum, because you didn't let them treat you like a queen? And if you did, how did it work out? I was the back quote nice guy who got turned down for a second date. I said the same bullcrap that any back quote nice guy says when that happens. I.e. All women are the same. Say they want nice guys. Only date assholes. ETC. She said back quote well. Fine. Let's have that second date, but doesn't it make you feel weird to have to convince someone to date you? Don't you want someone who wants to be with you? Me. Changed absolutely everything about dating for me. My wife did, while she was in college. He had constant low self-esteem which annoyed her. He also loved making fun of other people. Sounds like he was just a toxic guy. When she broke up with him, he wrote a suicide note naming her as a reason, and showed up on campus with a gun. Fortunately nothing happened. He got some therapy, and wasn't allowed back at the school. A girlfriend told me, that when she was still new to dating, she gave a nice guy a shot. They were in different states, and after weeks of owing him a sexy picture or video she agreed to FaceTime him with a wink wink agreement, that things might get steamy. The day comes and this 300 pounds unwashed dude called her. 190 pounds. 5 feet 6. Nice. But bigger than he liked, and suggested she start working out. He then pushed for an in-person visit near him, so that he could show her the wonders of carnal things. She ghosted him shortly after that. Does nice guy mean timidly chivalrous in public and wholeheartedly misogynistic in private? Edited. Meant chivalrous instead of chauvinistic. Yes I did once. And I wish I didn't. He wasn't a nice guy after all. He treated me like I was the ugly one. I never felt more crafty in my whole life than when I was with him. I should have known. Yes. The tantrums continued throughout the relationship. He was very controlling. If I was out with friends he would be upset that I was having fun without him. He ended up cheating on me and dumping me only to beg me back. He semi-staked me for a couple of years. Had an online blog about what I did each day and tried to befriend my exes. I dated a guy in high school. Relationship was okay, but it was long distance, so we amicably ended it. He was the one that brought it up and I agreed. Fast forward 6 months and he randomly messages me. Everything is friendly, until I mention, that I have a new boyfriend. The conversation did a quick 180 from hi how, are you to you'll never find someone like me, and how could I start dating again so soon. I blocked his ass real fast. And he was right. I never did find another guy like him, because I married the new boyfriend, and we are still together 18 years later. Way too many times in college. I had guys in the friend zone who I decided to give a chance, because I was stupid, and I felt sorry for them my last straw was, when a guy took me shopping. I said yes and lonely desperately on on a Friday night. This was a Saturday afternoon. After every store I went into he would either criticize me for not wanting him to buy me anything. I'm not much of a shopper anyways. Or ask me for 6, because he bought me a used video game I wanted. Never again. There's a good reason insoles are insoles. I don't get it. Being treated like a queen means that you get a plot of land and subjects. Right. These guys seem to do the opposite. Scrolling through making sure him not like this at all mayo. Pro tip. If he or she throws a tantrum. They are not a nice guy slash girl slash person. They are a manipulative jackass that needs to be avoided or blocked. You will deserve better than that. Checks for stories where it worked out well. Crickets. It started off great, but after a few months it turned sour to tell a long story short there was horrid manipulation and abuse seriously girls, if you meet a guy like this run. Yes. Turns out he is extremely racist. Sexist. And could not make me orgasm for the life of him. This has happened to me like 3 or 4 times. 
where a guy became almost obsessed with me and everyone told me I have to date him, and I'm nasty if I didn't, and one of the guys even said he doesn't think he could live, if I didn't date him so all these guys I dated and all of them failed within literally days either they then just act like your friends or they want to know everything that's happened, and be around you 24 over 7. Or make you feel, like you've done something wrong. I hate when people pressure you to date someone, because you're such good friends or, but he really likes you, you have to give him a chance. Duck you. Yes but the same problem in opposite direction. Dated a girl, where we had been friends for a while. She shot me down in my teens, but we stayed friends. Talked all the time. Eventually she decided to give us a shot. Cheated on me with a co-worker after 6 months. Because I treated her as an equal, and she thought I'd treat her like a princess instead of my equal. Found out on Christmas Eve lol.